faie cel fa se imalie mai a oe fo i mai a cha i cha lo te tangi a tu nei o ta i ta nei u a fa a noa noa hi sa hi esther Hallo boom fo i mai pele e hi manuel Oh, Imai. Hi, Miss Tauvao. Thank you for joining us again. <laughs> we is Compton. Uh, because when I first started watching football, Trey Polamalu was my cousin too. Oh, Uti Nueva Ivai. D. Hi, Lucy. Er, Ile, Fia. Hi, Nome, Trina. Just Flora. Fia, Tepatasi. Hi, Olo. Darling, you falling out. I'm at a lassi. She tassi was silly at you. Fa angalo e lo manatu. Hi, Maloa. For in my Miss Melanie. Bele air. For in my Sikuava. Hi, thank you for joining us. Uso. I love for Malosi. Malo boy. Alongside. Oh, I my. For two pay, my lord, say four. I'll sang a lot, my lord, love a lay. Fantasy, my dear, fiaffy. Link Thompson, how you doing, Uso? How you doing? Ah, fire tail of fa. Say, Marley, my oe. For I my acha eater. Oh, Titani, Malo Lava Solo, at me. Oh, Titani, just Flora, no, thank you for your support. Wafa, no, no, hi, Michelle, for Ima, Pele, for Ima, my Tama Savai, what you so, Malo Sifua, Soloa, Missyof, Missy, Missy Fosa. Thank you for tuning in. Malo lava lava tasi mai faftai. Fo imai. Michael Mikaele, how's it going, Uso? Sandra Peters, thank you for joining us. Malo lava, malo chefua. Best savai, a best tie, yes, rafai. Malo lava. Manuia tutasi, thank you, thank you for joining us. All right. So, this evening, we were, uh, uh, I, were I, I posed a question and I asked Tau Mulato, my lord, Fufua, Tayala, Lolava, good to see you too, Mun, also. Melanie, thank you very much. Again, I, I want to welcome all who are watching. Uh, for I want to thank you as well for tuning in and especially for your support. Botelio Lima, Ma, Ma, I, Sevena more hands make the burden light uh, which is so different from the american exp or the english expression too many cook burn the soup in samoan many cook makes the burden lighter so uh uh, fa pe fo i la to o lo o a fi fi lava e fa i fa i ya to anga i pe i le na ta le ni o ya te oe a i la to o lo o fi fi a ma saf sepaya le ne tam fenga vai vai ya ma i le ta ele o ma o loto e ma te fi a fa ta ya tu ai o no o la o to sop sop tau au ma i ma o nei o i ma o ai ma ua ua to mai la o to pule ina i fa so a tu ai se uti uti se man la ai e la ngona i lava le anga nga fa nga e tia ai ma ua i fo i mle anga nga mau lalo ona o le pule ua o to amai ina i ma fa so a tu ai fa tai fa tai te lava again i would like to uh, welcome everyone who is constantly supporting I also want to thank everyone 
who is ridiculing me on some topics so that I can go and do research again. And I want you to know I appreciate both encouragement and constructive criticism. Make sure it's constructive. So this evening, this evening we are going to talk about more than just what's in the topic, matriarchy and patriarchy. Ole tato autu le nea fiafi o le upu fa pertani le matriarchy. Tilo male upu fa pertani le patriarchy. O se anga nu upo ni tangata e fa mumua tina. Po o se anga nu u man tangata e fa mumua le tu pautama. Ya, o le mele na le o le atato fa swai. That's what we're going to share about. What kind of society? is the Samoan culture uh, instilled in. Uh, so, let's figure out first, what is matriarchy? Uh, what is it? Uh, Dictionary.com says matriarchy is a noun and the first uh, definition is a family, society, community, or state governed by women. Second definition says a form of organization in which the mother is head of the family and in which descendant and in which descent is reckoned in the female line the children belonging to the mother's clan so ole matriarchy po ole anga nu fa momotina fa maile fa mam la maina ele upenga te failan o se ainga so sayete po se fa la potonga po se malo e pulea ma tai tai ia awale u fa ngalo pulea pulea tai tai ia e tama tai po fa fine o le si fa liu ngolo ia o se fa la potonga tele o lo tai mu ai le tinam a ve ulu ai nga o ona suli foi e tu punga mai i tu pu anga tama fa fine okay now Patriarchy, patriarchy, patriarchy is a noun. First definition says it is a form of social organization in which the father is the supreme authority in the family, clan or tribe and descent is reckoned in the male line with the children belonging to the father's clan or tribe. Second definition says it is a society, community or country based on its social organization. That's very broad. The next definition, a social system in which power is held by men through cultural norms and customs that favor men and withhold opportunity from women. Now, le la la e umaloa na fa mam maku in le fa sa mo last e wa fa we fa ila e fa ya fa mam la manga o le patriarchy. The last one, often initial capital of the men in power in a society with men in power in a society so ole fa winga ina ole upule patriarchy po ole anga nu fa mo mua ya le tu pa tane fa mai o se fa la pot tonga e pule so mai ta mai fa pule pule tu tu ele tama ole ainga ole nu o tanga ta fo yo le ainga e e fa abel fa mo mua Iyali, or to make if oalum fa nau foi, the children belong to the father's clan. Ah, or to o fa nau foi, if fa sino or lato fa sino manga eli tu or tama. Family leisi fa liung, or le sosayete nu upo o se atu nu. Eh, oh man, that's hard to explain because it doesn't make sense. A society, community, or country based. On its on this social organization, and that just I I don't want to confuse our Samoan people because that just doesn't make sense. Ah, I do all I see. Faliu, yeah, faliu. Ol vaeng alon tolu on a ele eu ele o yaise fa manga fa mai ol e sosa yete ol e fa alaputonga ol e atunu e fa vae ilea a. Or a social organization, yeah, it makes sense. Because it's similar to that of the matriarch, where a family, society, community, or state governed by.
by women. Uh, OE, uh, a society, community, or country based on this social organization uh, or the male social organization. Vangaluntur, Ole, a social system. Pose awala emafai on a tao fiai yale pule e ali. E ala iola to tu manga ifanua. E fa sino lea ile tu o ali. Ai tao fiai yale avanua mota mai tai. Vangamun muli. Femai. E pule tama ile societe po le ainga. So, e lue tu. Matriarchy, patriarchy. A tattoo of I le tattoo on the when we are looking at our culture. What do we see? Do we see a patriarchal society or a matriarchal society? A tattoo no fum mat tattoo vava i e tu manga tattoo at nu. Osea. Osea to nu e fat mo mo li ipo sea to nu fat mo mo to my time. Lela la utam fautital yachu. I'm going to try to answer. Eau le ina ilau atimata. Eau le ina ilau atina. That is a proverb derived from the building of a Samuin Fale. And so the men and the women of the village were divided into groups, men, women. And so they were tasked with the weaving of the uh, roofing of the house. So they had the women weave their uh, uh, palm fronds and they had the men weave their palm fronds. The house, still, the fale still stands to this day where the men's side was not complete only the women's side and so the proverb says simply put women can make it women can make anything happen or ah someone please help me out uh, but the men's side it didn't finish till this day that's one example rulers of Samoa People who held the Tafaifa title were all four titles of the ruler of Samoa. First, a female, Nafanua. Second, a female, and the first peaceful ruler whose reign was recognized as peaceful, Salmasina. Remember the half Tongue and half Samoan child? Both women to hold the title of ruler. So, the reason I ask this question is because of this. When I shared about domestic violence in an earlier uh, live, uh, several weeks ago, I believe, someone commented, said, this has been the history of Samoa from the first man and woman. Samoan men have always hit their women since the first man and woman in Samoa. What a bold statement. How bold of you, my brother, to blatantly say in front of the whole world to see that our culture condones violence. Galufai. Our culture does not do such a thing. And this is why I try to teach our culture. Because people are portraying the wrong culture. And people are starting to see and think that we are only a bunch of thugs and criminals. Because what we portray as our culture So let's set some string some things straight. Let's set something straight. Like this. In the old times, Yasola, Fasao Mai Isesi Pe Asise Mason. If I am incorrect, correct me. But in early years, 
The Tawalungo was conducted by the high chief of the village. Or the Tawalungo was conducted by the high chief of the family. Not the Taupo. Till this day, some villages practice where the men palule ava. The men mix the ava. And some villages, women aren't allowed to be in the fale during the mixing of the ava. Now, some may take that as disrespect, but there is a reason. In the Samoan culture, we have lefia nainga. Something we now understand, some of us who have been watching, I've discussed earlier, my Lord Shifua, Chesta, as I discussed earlier, the Fianga, the sacred bond of brother and sister. These things are evidence as our people being of a matriarchal society. Because we believed Lita Maitai or Lita Masa, another name given to the Samoan female was special because she could give life and nurture it. O ta to tangata o Samoa, o le ta to tu maleanga ifanua, e si o si o mia i le faa mua mua o ta maitai. E longa le na mea, i le fea ngai nga osi a le tamatane, ma le tamasa. So sacred, so sacred that that the, that special covenant is now given. The respect that this covenant is supposed to relate one to another is now given to the faithi out. Lawa faa fianga le faithi out. The pastor has now become our fianga. That doesn't mean we leave our sister. That doesn't mean our sister is no longer our fianga. The reason why the Faifi Ao is the Fianga Lango Lao Ao Momoli Mait Tonunu, he has been brought into the village. So, because of our respect for outsiders as Samoan, Osi Fianga Lia, create this sacred bond with the pastor, the village and the pastor. Okay? So, the village will fa Fiangai Ele village, le pastor. Okay? So, the village is. Sacred bond is with the pastor, but the brother is still with his sister, and that's the reason for wars back then, too, because women were disrespected by men. We'll get to that later. But some people have uh, taken upon themselves to uh, pick and choose which parts of the culture they want to uh, use to portray uh, the patriarchal idea. For example, to Imamo. To Imamo is a practice where men would strike the thighs of women, making them unable to walk, then carrying them on their shoulders and taking them off. It was condoned. It was condoned, however, there was a consequence. Elefa Pela is a watu imamo. Ah, Elisimia matu fail matu ten. Ah, the I elof for matu matu feeling. We love our sacred bond with our sister that you have disrespected. Therefore, there will be war. That is why when the Taupo sits to Palle Ava, a manaya sits next to her so that he keeps an eye on every man in that house that they do not break eye contact with them so that they can check out their sister. Liang Sha. It's a no-go. So this feeling that we have with our sisters is no longer seen in a lot of Samoa. Yet we still see Le Fianga with the pastor. So what can we do to bring this back? This teach share, inform, enlighten one another 
about who we are as a people and what we were as a people. A few days ago I said, our people are scared. Oh, well, not scared. I don't know the term yet, but when it comes to me, I'll say it. But uh, here in Hawaii, we say, are you chicken? The reason I said that, I didn't mean all Samoans. I mean the Samoans now. <laughs> I mean the Samoans now. Why do I mean that? How do I say, why do I say that? Because we are still going off of the successes of our ancestors. What have we done? We are still holding on to their successes and calling them our own. Yes, the Samoans drove the Tongans out of Samoa, but that was not you. And when we get to the specifics, Tuna and Fata was probably not from your village either. Don't take their glory. Leave it for the kids of their village. Figure out what your village has done. And don't hold on, don't, don't cling on to that. Do something. Make something of yourselves. And if this teaching that I'm giving you does not light a fire under you, reassess your life. Because Samoans are proud people. Tangata Samoan tangata mita mita telelanganu. Aole mele uyai. What has happened is, o mita mita tato le amu valia. Ma fi fi tato pe a va ai matangata tato tangata fatino ao. We have come to the point where we think that our culture and our people are just big and violent when our culture is of love and respect. And that's why it's sad to see some of the comments where people swear. Because Watangia mai i lau 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 vale. Atangia mai lau ngana. O mole anganu. Through their comments, through their language used, it depicts that our culture is lost for some. And I don't want that, because our culture is beautiful. And if you don't see the beauty in it, please keep watching. Because I hope to share that with you and in hopes that you too can love and cherish the Fa'asa Moa as much as I do. But if you don't like what I'm sharing, please come share with us. I don't have all the answers. I said that before. So, but we're going to move on. Before I move on, I have to say this. Mo'otouya, ilau lau vavale. Male ma fofa. Male popoi mai vaeng o komeni. O siang anu o sa moan le na mea. O siang anu o sa moa lau 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 vale malau le ma fofa o lo mai moa ta mama tina matutu. I swore maybe once. And I remember what I said. I said a body part. But it was a vulgar word. But the words you folks have used, upu oto lafo oi se talofari. Watangia mayala ele oto ni Samoa. And if you're not Samoan, and you only have another thing, my question is: Is that Christianity or se fakerisiano le namia? Because you say you are Samoan and Christian, but your language says you're not Samoan. So, is that Christian-like? As I don't remember learning that in Samoa. And our people uh, are, are chicken. I remember when Dwayne the Rock, Sayuli Johnson, Sayuli Dwayne the Rock Johnson, sorry, Sayuli Dwayne the Rock Johnson, there was rumors of him getting a song imiti. Oh, and Samoa was so happy. Samoa was so proud that he was going to get a song imiti. And then the title of Seuli was bestowed and he came back with a sleeve. 
I remember hearing some people justify the sleeve as a son imiti. I remember some people saying uh, that, you know, that was wrong of him not to get a son imiti. What's that? You see their reaction to him now. Kwa change, ah. Kwa ngalo al meleng klako faye kalas kamo se yuti. Def yo ngali alori. Kwa ngalo, ah. Now I'm trying. I'm not trying to make a name for myself. I am trying to teach our culture. Aya. Fight, fight. But once, not once, once we, once we make it to a point where Samoa has changed its language, not only the word that we used or the other word we used but its whole understanding of who we are those people will come up and say great job my lord was a paisi kamba and i can only pray that god grants you and i watching the knowledge and great understanding to say something that will then teach them because we're doing all we can say now and they're not learning. Okay, now, there's something that is going on in both governments in Samoa and it is not hidden anymore. Our leaders don't love us people. I'm not worried about America. I'm worried about back home. Because in America, there are changes here and there. Who takes over? But back home, the independence is Samoa, Malotu Totasio Samoa. How many years now? Since the 80s, since Tofilao Al Sana. And the government hasn't changed since. American Samoa, yes, the governors have changed. But you notice how the people in government rarely change? The heads of departments, you notice how they rarely change? Let's make a change. Let's not just talk about it anymore. If you're in Samoa and you don't like what's happening in the government, don't tell me about it. I can't vote. You do something. You vote. And if you're out here and you are you can send in your absentee ballot, do so. Don't just don't just grumble. You know what they say in Hawaii? No vote, no grumble. Ale palota otomumu. Faungalo si fuma. Faungalo ekisi. Pauna. But if you don't want change and you don't see anything wrong, carry on. Carry on. Governor Lolo Matsalasi Molino made a statement that really bothered me. In last week's meeting, Task Force, COVID 19 Task Force meeting, he had asked for the assistance of the uh, uh, Sergeant First Class Billet Reserve uh, soldiers or the U.S. soldiers in Samoa. He was uh, he was made aware that night that they do not have the authority, or he does not have the authority, to use or mobilize that unit because they are a reserve unit, not a National Guard unit. Ile vayaso tuna sa fonoai ya le task force pole fala pot tonga ale covitis fruiva ma sa noai le a fiong el kovana e fa pe fa nga ya fit fit leo leo ami fa leo leo a samoa o lo itutuila pe tai wa longo le sunga ile komsina leo leo le isan thompson ele ai se ya Alimalo Amrik Samoa Ile Army Reserve. 
or fa no no nga or sa no nga ko wanna so it saddened me by his response his response was then what is their use or la la ko nga if that's the case they should move their reserve center afa peolena have is in la to reserve have is she me governor lolo this is june july august september october november you've got five more months and only now only now you understand aren't you supposed to understand the jurisdiction of your power what have you been doing the last seven years and seven months lollygaggling ah I remember appointments that's right appointments if you are tired of what's going on back home or what's going on there at home speak up and make a change you see how I'm being ridiculed on social media they're just words the Lord is in his holy temple. Another reason why this bothered me. I was a reservist. And if you were watching last night, I took care of my great grandmother. The Army Reserve there afforded me that opportunity. You know what else I did, Governor Lolo? I also helped with social services. I also helped First Lady Marianne with the Tai Tai Tama. All because the Reserve allowed me to stay home and take care of my grandma and be of use to my community. Is that no use? That they are able to defend their country and take care of their families at home? Governor Lolo. I was a teacher as well. Many of my brothers and sisters in arms are educators as well. Wow. I'm baffled, Governor. I truly am. They are soldiers who may be called to risk their lives. And you don't know Poleala to Wanga? Easy for you to say. You never took that oath. This President of the Senate and Governor, huh? Listen, I know he may have family watching, and you, some of you may be bothered. Some of you may share this and say, I'm disrespectful to the governor. But our governor has disrespected our people for too long, and you have sat silently. I will not. Yes, I'm out here now. The reason I'm out here is because there was nothing there for me. You see it. You know it. What are you doing about it? Like I said, you cannot keep claiming what your parents did as a victory. Make your own victory. I go through my comments, you know, almost every day. Sometimes I'm responding to messages or calling people. Because I do call some of our, our friends and family on the uh, Le Meoli Samoa. But the people who say or mad at me for saying Samoans are racist, I have this. A few months ago, when Prime Minister Tuila Epasa Lele Malielingoi did not agree with a lot of people who were against the Chinese coming in. These are his words. 
ai le anga e fa pia e fa pia matau tanga tanga le anga tanga tu sa moa e fa e lunga lanu cheli. This is the prime minister. I don't see you going and telling him that you're not racist. Why aren't you on his front step pounding and yelling and hollering, barking? Why? Chicken? <laughs> Why do you do it to me? Voila. If I may yell it, pardon me, I told you, I don't know. If I may yell it, pardon me, you know, he's used other words. He's even used something from a horse to describe some people. An uncircumcised part of that. You're not up in arms. You still vote for him and his government. Get out of here. Kingamaka. Again, if you're going to use foul language, have a pair of the eyes out, my little love of Valley. Who's way? A little oil, she said more. If you decide you want to use foul language, you are not a Samoan. But keep watching so you can learn what it means to be a true Samoan. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to uh, start the live at uh, tomorrow afternoon, actually, Hawaii Standard Time. I will be uh, starting the live at 12. And the first thing we'll be discussing is telling time. Taunga Oliwati. Because I've heard it time and time again, misspoken. But uh, before I leave, I, I want you to remember this. Samoan culture is that of respect and love. If you cannot love me as much as I love you, not to swear back, then show some respect because I will give it to you a hundred percent if it is shown to me. Respect everyone deserves it until a line is crossed. God bless. Stay blessed. Soifua maia manuia. Soifuya.